Hello, and welcome back. I am Hello Green Eyes, and today we are deciding to play an interesting game. It was another one of those that was free, and like since I downloaded games like Honey Pop, I guess it figured I wanted to play this too. And let me see, what was the full title of this game? It was Seduce Me, the Otome. <laughs> anyway, okay, let's see what this game has to offer. New game. This is a fictional interactive narrative because we totally believe this is real. Um, any character resemblance to real life people are purely coincidental. I have a feeling these characters are going to be extremely exaggerated, so I don't think that they're going to be anybody I know. Also, please know that the following game is made for PG 16. Wow, they made a new rating game, or rating system for this game. Please know that sexual violent themes are explored in this game. Trigger warnings, abuse, implied rape, and suicide? You've been warned? What kind of fucking game is this? Ah, <sighs> they're just... Okay, please enjoy? What kind of thing is that to say after a warning like that? Why, hello. My, aren't you a gorgeous sight? Nah, Can I really. be honored enough to know your name? Sure. Uh, my name is... You know what? I'm just gonna make this humorous. Oh! I, I was gonna do Princess Fluffy Butt, but I don't have enough letters. Um... Dumb bitch. A lovely name for a <laughs> lovely person like you. <laughs> Wonderful. This guy sounds like a creeper. A straight up creeper. Eric, do your job. Ugh. Very well. <clears throat> this game was produced by Seraphim Entertainment under the direction of Michaela Laws and is powered by Renpai Visual Novel Engine. We truly hope you'll enjoy this story. Let me see if I can get the preferences. Uh, turn off the background music. Go back. Yes. I don't need to be copyrighted for my shit again, even though I probably already have been. Hooray! Eric. Fine, fine. <laughs> Farewell, my sweet. All these guys sound creepy. I don't want to date any of them at all. <laughs> oh, God. There's already gunshots. <sighs> oh, Jesus. Come on. Is that all you got? Want to try me, asshole? What have I walked into? <laughs> well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> Crap. Missed. Okay. Um, Let's retreat for now. No kidding. Let's get out of here. Sounds like a good idea when guns are going That's off. That's right. You better run, you stupid punks. Stay out of our territory. I'm so lost right now. <laughs> call it fate or call it coincidence. That's one moment of violence. This started... formula, okay. created in the 70s, is one of the most important in the field of financial theory. Am I in class now? What the fuck? It is used to calculate the price of European style options and is widely used by option marketers, though there are some discrepancies that are now corrected with the modern viewpoint. Okay. The, yep, that's me, bored, looking out the fucking window. Why am I in class? I have better things to do. Rain, it's been a long time since we got rain around here. But it's the season for rainy weather, so it's not exactly that surprising. Personally, I love the sound of it, which is true. Rain is pretty awesome. The way the raindrops fell, like the soft tapping of fingers. Oh, it was so soothing. Even looking at the droplets hit the glass of the window was strangely calming. For this reason, I felt lucky for having a seat next to the window. Though I did spend more time staring outside than I did paying attention in class. The lectures in class were pretty boring. Miss Phillips' voice wasn't so 
so if oh wasn't so horrific, but I just wasn't interested in what she was having to say. Since it was the period right before lunch, all I could think about was doing other things with my free time, like eating. I would be thinking about lunch if it was the period before. That's what I do at work. If it's like an hour before lunch, and like just counting down, counting down for lunch. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't really care much for economics. Not many do. Sure, I had good grades in this class, but it was only because I read the textbook and did my assignments as I had to. Oh, that's most people. I was only taking this class because it was mandatory. If it were up to me, I would probably have taken another course. Luckily, it was my senior year, so after this semester, it would mean the end of high school courses forever. Thank God for that. Yeah, I don't think I would ever go back to high school. Fuck that noise. No, thank you. <laughs> high school is not what I need in my life anymore. I didn't hate high school. It was just kind of mundane how the days drifted on as if there was no end to it. Adulthood's the same way, sweetheart. It's called a job. And the same thing happens. And the only thing I really enjoyed about going to school was meeting my friends and hanging out with them, but that was kind of it. In short, I was done with high school. The start of the second semester brought a note of finality to it. I had already applied to many universities the semester prior, and I was expecting reply sometime in the next few months. It seemed like a start of something new, something that could, would change. Oh my god, how much reading is there? That is, if things could change. I stared at the faint outline of raindrops in the distance. For now, I was stuck in this class. Miss Anderson. Oh, I'm getting caught for staring out the window. I didn't mean it. Just when I was thinking about class, I quickly turned my head to face the teacher. Hopefully she didn't pick me just because she noticed I was spacing out. Yes, ma'am? I love how I was straight up like in the fancy handwriting. Dumb bitch. <laughs> Would you care to name the equation I set up on the blackboard? Oh, I think I read about it in the textbook last night. It should be the black school. Very good as always, Miss Anderson. Yes. Have Mrs. Anderson. Because of Anderson family toys, because the count the founder was my own grandfather. Susie, one of my best friends, turned around and probably gave me a punch on the shoulder. Kick ass, girl. From beside me, I heard Naomi, another one of my best friends, cheering, clearing her throat in obvious disapproval of Susie's choice of words. Well, hell, my name's dumb bitch, so. <clears throat> She means good job. All right, tightwad. Miss Capini. Oi. Oi. <laughs> who says that? Oi. Care to tell me who the creators of this formula were? Dun dun dun. Uh. <clears throat> Fisher Black and Myron Shoals. Very good, Miss Patterson. Show off. Better study next time, Suzu. Be like us and study once in a while. Oh, you bitch. Why am I friends with her? That's the end of today's lecture. Thank God. Now, let's separate into groups and work on your projects. Remember, everything is due on Monday. Go ahead now. Go ahead now. The Three Musketeers. We always group together for our little trio. It's a sheer stroke of luck that we managed to be in the same class, so we could at least take the opportunity to stick together as much as we could. Besides, we were the most comfortable around each other than, say, compared to being around any other classmate. It just made sense for us to put our heads together for any kind of project. I took out the poster we were working on and rolled it in three desks. <clears throat> oh, onto the three desks. I'm sorry. We were pretty much finished with fulfilling the guidelines for the project, though we did have a few finishing touches here and there. Oh my god, this is why, uh, after working on making the poster a bit prettier, we sat back and inspected our work to see what we still had to do. Naomi, as usual, was the first to look for any issues, lightly tapped a pencil against her chin, blah, blah. Alright, so let's see. We finished the bud. So oh, what a much talking. Of course we did. Hmm, <sighs> not sure. <laughs> What, what do you, you think? What do you think, dumb bitch? <laughs> I can't. Uh, it always came down to me. I like Trinity Corporations. That is way too predictable. What do dragon? What? But our co who said we can't produce spicy bubble gum? She's got a point. <sighs> yeah. What do you think? I like dragon company men. Booyah, dragon! All right, now that we've. <laughs> I'm going with Suzu over you, stuck up Naomi. I don't like you. <laughs> Who 
Who is ignore it. it. It's just Lisa. Lisette, popular people. Lisette White, still working. She also casually chat about her day. She was perfect. Not that she was a robot or something, but she was a student that everybody else wanted to be. Lizette was bright, easygoing, and above all, had a future laid out right in front of her. Must be fucking nice. Um, she knew she was going to do it to high school. Blah, blah. She doesn't even look like she's working, in my opinion. Why well, aren't you just a fucking nosy person? She probably is, but she's too much of a stuck-up priss to allow herself to look like she's actually doing work. Oh, well, yeah, you know. Maybe. Oh, but... come on, Suzu. She may be a little off-putting, but the day she isn't a priss is the day I turn into you. How are these two friends? They seem like they hate each other. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, God. Mind. It's about time. Ha! She took off like a bat out of hell. Her seat is the closest me. to the exit, and she always manages to be the first one out of the door. Oh, not you, Hmm. Well, it's not really. Oh, don't you try to do a delinquent. Are you? We heard you the first time. Not. Are you kidding me? That class was ridiculously boring. Oh, I'm valedictorian, of course. And all these things, you know, you played the smart girl. Okay, so it wasn't too interesting, but you. Sh so you finally admit it. We're fine. Please, don't call me by my last name. This isn't the class. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here, I guess this answers my question. Normally, anyone would think that opposites like them would never associate with each other, but even though they were so different, their friendship somehow made a lot of sense. I'm still looking for that sense. I don't see it. Maybe they're just perfect compliments. All right, so where are we heading to first? Cafeteria? I Who would even buy that? Me? I would pay good money to get a taste of it. Cafeteria food time. Okay. Cajun fries and the spicy chicken burger for me. That sounds really That's delicious, actually. Meal. I'll take a tuna sandwich and some juice. You're probably going to- I can't be tamed by the likes of that. If it's spicy, then it's gotta be all or nothing. Your stomach's gonna hate you later, though. You're crazy! Hell yeah, I'm crazy. <laughs> I think I'm getting a migraine. Oh my god, this girl's such a whiner. Ugh. Uh. You know what? This sounds too good. Might as well go spicy today. Yeah. All right then. Is there any? <laughs> I know. Say boys, and I will never speak to you ever again. I like Suzu. I think she's my favorite. Aww, why not? What's so interesting about talking about guys? It's not like any of us are gonna get boyfriends anytime soon. Ouch, Suzu. Bit harsh. We don't know that. What if one of us does get a boyfriend? Like that's going to happen, Naomi. Look at us. I'm a tiny Italian. You're a ditzy blonde. She looks more like a redhead, actually. Hey! No offense. And Anderson here. Well, I guess she could land a boyfriend or girlfriend if she wants. Or girlfriend? <laughs> she can be a lesbian if she wants. That's right, Suzu. You tell it. She could be anything she wants to be. Or, let me rephrase. I could be anything I want to be. Dang it. True. Thank you for agreeing, Naomi. It's okay, Suzu. I'm not sure I want a boyfriend yet. It's our senior year. Might as well get a boyfriend. Yeah. Part of me is one of those that's like, I wish I held out till my senior year, but then, you know, life would have been completely different. Maybe she's just not interested in a relationship, Suzu. Thank you, Naomi. Well, was it about wanting a relationship more than there's no one interesting enough to be in a relationship with? Cue the guys that sound like creepers. Don't me, get me wrong, I'm an open person, but not many interesting guys in school to go out with. Who knows? Time will tell. Miss Anderson, please come to the main office immediately. Please bring your things with you. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. Oh my. <clears throat> Looks like our plans have been cut short. The men in white coats have finally come to get you. Ha <laughs> ha. Suzu, don't joke. Ah, fine. If something happens, just call us. Will do. 
Funny enough, something did happen. Let me save real quick. Save. Back. Okay. And it was certainly no laughing matter. Oh, God, what happened? Cold. It was really cold. The rain became heavier. Blah. Skies turned dark. Now I'm looking out. Exact opposite of what I wanted to do. Looking at people weeping around me. What the fuck is going on here? Oh, I'm at a funeral. It was only after the speech was ended I was finally able to raise my head. Oh, my dad died? Was that my dad or my grandfather? Okay. Small, simple grave. Oh, okay. My father was standing. So it was my grandfather who died, the uh, toy inventor or whatever. His face was emotionless, a strange sight next to my weeping mother. I wondered if he, what was going on through his mind. I want to keep playing this. I want to at least like meet one of the creepers, and then I'll probably cut it quits at that point. But I at least want to see what these annoying voices sound like, look like. After all, Natchez Grace was his father's name. My grandfather, the one who raised me like his own daughter, had passed away that day. People began to leave, leaving my father, mother, and me behind the grave. Grandfather's lawyer. And now, I shall read Harold Anderson's last will and testament. Do I get a lot of money? Only my parents and I were allowed to be present for my grandfather's will. It was under the strict request of his lawyer, and there is a reason why. And to my dearest granddaughter, I give my estate. What? All the furniture and decor that resides within the house shall also be given to my granddaughter. I got my own house? That's pretty cool. What? <laughs> But what about my parents? Like, don't my parents get anything? He passed the family estate to her? Why am I not surprised? Oh, now my parents hate me. Dear. Well, did he say anything about what will become of the CEO and chairman pos- No. It is presumed that the vice chairman will succeed the position. Heh. <laughs> Even to the bitter end, he wouldn't give in. Oh, what a stubborn old man. My dad's gonna hate me now. About the estate. Should we send her there to get used to the building? It'll be a good place for her to live after high school. Are you sure we should? He just wants me out of his face. He doesn't even want to look at me. Like, I betrayed him just by being his, his father's favorite. Why not? This would be a good experience for her. Oh, that contempt, though. Honey, what do you think? You know what? I wasn't really sure what to say. What was my what, was why would my grandfather think that I was the appropriate heir to the mansion? Was I even ready to live on my own? Well, that seems to be it. We'll be taking our leave now. I'm sure the little heiress needs some time to adjust. My father's a dick, David. Wow. Even though she raised her voice, my dad wordlessly began walking back to the car, disinterested. Don't mind him, honey. I think that your grandfather's passing really affected him. Or he's a dick. Why don't we get back home for now? Okay. You could go ahead in the car, Mom. I think I need some time alone with Grandpa, because I don't think my dad loves me anymore. Oh, of course. Take all- Gave me a quick hug and hurried after my dad. I was looking around at the funeral grounds, which was completely empty save for a sullen-looking grave that was laying in front of me. I'm sure that if Grandpa were in charge of arranging all this, it would have been much different. It was blatantly obvious that my dad was in charge of the whole event. Who else would bury their own family the same day they pass away? Damn, that's cold-blooded. I wonder if he, like, killed him <laughs> or something and uh, was trying to cover the evidence. Everyone knew my grandfather's love for toys, and yet the grave was a mere stone slab in the ground, void of any children's toys. My dad didn't even bother putting flowers. Damn, this dude's an asshole. His disdain for my grandfather was almost pitiful. Sorry, Grandpa. Try to force out some words, but the only thing that came out with this was a choked sob. You told me to stay strong, but right now I'm the farthest from it. Like that one time, a long time ago. Oh, flashback. <laughs> Dumb bitch. Grandpa! Oh, it's so good to see you again, sweetie. Aww. I swept, in, I swept into a giant bear hug, and we both laughed as he swung me around like an airplane. It was my favorite things about seeing my grandfather, the way he greeted me. Unlike my father, my grandfather was loving and playful, even as I grew older. Sorry that Daddy couldn't be here today. He said he wasn't feeling too good again. It had always been like that. Dad missed every visit to Grandpa's house, citing he'd been busy with work or wasn't feeling well. There's some deep shit going on here. Is that so? Well, that's okay. 
Daddy can come around next time. And you're here, right? Yeah, so what are we doing today, Grandpa? Mommy says there's a new dessert cafe open in town. Maybe we could go? Oh, I would love to. But I've been so busy with the company these days. We're actually working on a little something. Would you like to see? Heck yeah, Grandpa! It is. I was designing a new line of them. But I feel like something's missing. So, what? I think the heart on is just because light up when you hug it, it would be like it's alive and can be like a little nightlight before you sleep. That's a great idea! I'll get to changing it right away. You're always like my little lucky charm, dear. You always That's know why he likes me so much. I'm the kid toy. who gives him good toy input. You want to make toys? Don't worry too much about it. You have plenty of time to decide. Besides, you should do what makes you happy as well. See, this grandpa's an all-around good dude. Daddy doesn't think of it the Your same father. way. I'm sure he just wants the best for you. No. I'm not so sure about that. Sweetie, look at me. I'm looking. I'm looking. <laughs> as much as your father may say something that doesn't make sense now, you must remember that he's always thinking about you. He loves you. There's no doubt about that. And you need to love him just as equally. Well, I do, but he's a dick. Your father and I have had some difficulties with each other in the past. But it's nothing that you should be concerned about. Well, I have a feeling I'm going to have to be concerned about it now. I had heard tidbits from my mother from various other people. It's hard, though. However, I... no matter what, you have to stay strong. You're a big girl already. And, well, this is a I'll lot of backstory for like a dating against sim. the world. But always remember that your family and friends will be here with you. Daddy, mommy, your friends at school, me, we'll stand together to get through it. Because we'll be right. So stay strong. All right then. Enough of that. How about I whip up some special homemade dessert? I know I can't accompany you at that new cafe, but we sure can talk and eat while I cook and do some paperwork. Hey, slow down there. I'm not what I used to be. Aww, so sad. Well, it's time to head back home. I'll cook. Thanks, Mom. You know, Dad's an asshole. You're trying to make up for it. He didn't speak the entire drive home. It's about time we took off those dreary black clothes. Oh, I don't know if talking to him this soon is a good idea. Go ahead. I thought I made that rather clear. The college near your grandfather's house is well known for its business. Okay. Right after you graduate from high school. Save again. <clears throat> I went full screen. I don't know how to get out. Oh, preferences. <laughs> Windowed. Thank you. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, don't be so sensitive. If you're like that in the real world, you'll be crushed. You're kind of a dick, man. I'm just saying that maybe we could talk a bit more about my future. After you graduate from college, you'll work at Anderson Family Toys. I have connections since I am part of the board of directors, so you will be guaranteed a spot. That is what we talked about before, yes? So you're basically not giving me a choice. Stop mumbling. Okay, I'm definitely glad to move out of this house. I don't want any any closer to you, dude. Don't be silly. It's the family company. Our company. I'm not just going to hand it over to some incompetent vice chairman. Oh, I see how it is. You want me to sweep the rug out from under the vice chairman. 
Look, this is all for the best, okay? You may not know it right now, but you will appreciate it later. Oh, now you decide to be nice? Of course I do. Excuse me? Ooh, she's getting attitude with him. Do not. Ha! <laughs> you sure place him upon a pedestal. Are you happy seeing Grandfather dead? While well, everyone was grieving, you're holding yourself back from laughing in everyone's faces. <gasps> he slapped me? You don't know anything! Running your mouth like somehow you know everything that went on when you're just a little girl that doesn't know how to keep her mouth shut! Wow. You did not know my father. You did not know what he was capable of. He didn't slap me in the face like you did, bruh. Is everything all right? Nothing, I'm not hungry. Honey, okay. wait! Damn. This is supposed to be a dating sim, mind you, and it's been almost a half hour of backstory. Are you all right? Your father told me nothing happened. Mm, fine. But lasagna's done, though. Please, dear. I wanted to tell her. Wow. Yeah, I gotta pack, because I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just digging the ringtone there. Who could possibly hey, be Anderson, calling? You there? Oh, it's Suzu. Is everything all right? Hello? What happened? Well, I can't begin to imagine how you must be feeling right now. Oh, it's a conference call. I'm so sorry. Do you want us to come over right now? No, it's okay. Of course. We'd stay on the phone until the crack of dawn. Right, Suzu? Yeah. We're always here if you need us. After all, we wouldn't be the awesome triple threat trio. Aw, they're either, good friends. Right? Hold on. Sorry, I was trying to find another light source because the sun's going down outside. Triple Threat Trio? That sounds like the name of a gang. Oh, shut up, Naomi. Yeah, I mean, we're all taking on the world together. We've got to sound somewhat scary, or else no one's... What's with you in naming things? <laughs> You've got to step up your game, Naomi. Falling behind to the cool kids like Anderson and me. Tsk, tsk. Hey, I'm a cool kid. Aww. Anything, I'd say you have to step up your game. Ouch. So they're basically ripping off Sherlock. They're watching a show called Hairlock. Jotson instead of Watson, really? It's 1 a.m. Sorry for keeping you guys up so late. See you at school. But it was really nice. Well, to the bathroom I go. Going back to school tomorrow. Uh. I had to go to school, slid out of bed, and looked in the vanity mirror. That's a relief. Luckily, there's barely a bruise on my cheek. You had to really squint to actually see it. Did anyone actually notice it unless they leaned in really close? I dressed in my backpack and caught the bus to school. It wasn't even hours before anyone heard the news. I got a bunch of condolences over there. Was it was a shock to my friends. Wait, so you have the whole Anderson house to yourself? Lucky as hell, man! 
All right, Susie, you're sounding, starting to sound a little weird. <clears throat> Quit being so sensitive, Naomi. Quit being so vulgar, Suzu. Oh god, why do you keep making me make choices between my friends? Of course, ha! Huh? I know how to have fun! Seriously, it hasn't even been a day since you came back to school. Yeah, I know, my parents want me to- Still, mean... that's real- Hey! Don't go around shoving- Whoops. Oh, it's popular, bitch. It's not me, you should- Oh, Anderson. Uh, haven't you already- Of what? Her grandfather's- Ah, uh, well, I'm sorry about that. I don't really watch a lot of news. It doesn't really sound like you mean it. I do mean it. Earn it. Typical Capini. Isn't her family involved with the Mafia or something? I wouldn't be surprised if she brought out the bat from behind her back- Well. Out of line! Suzu says the one whose family profits from political scandals. What? Damn, this girl's a biatch. Yeah, your dad doesn't make anything unless he's in the court with dirty politicians. Ah. Hey, let's all calm down for a second, alright? I'm sure it Well, she's actually being nice to me. Hmm? I'm sure you're happy seeing me like this, like you already have everything you wanted, now you see me like this, life couldn't get any better. But honestly, I didn't care. I was so consumed by anger, I only saw Lizette in front of me. Exactly what am I, what am I to you? Just some other part of your obstacle course? Is that what I am? I'm sick of it, Lizette! I'm sick of all these charades! I'M SICK OF YOU! The little girl looked like she was going to speak up, but Lizette held her hand out to stop her. There was emotion in her face I couldn't quite make out, but I couldn't, I could see a form of pity in her eyes. Don't, no, don't you dare pity me! I looked away from her. I didn't even have, want to see the emotion in her eyes when she was talking to me. She didn't have the right to look at me that way. I'm sorry. I know your grandfather passing away. There's something different about her. I couldn't place my finger on it, but something about her had definitely changed. Well, I'll be going for now. Track meet responsibility. Something about what Lizette made me feel uncomfortable. I wasn't just angry, but also uneasy. What was it? I'd never seen her like that before. I decided to pay no further attention to it. She continued running down the hall with her gaggle of friends behind her. Miss Phillips. Is everything all right? Nothing we couldn't handle, Mrs. P. Just a bunch of snobs. Damn, Suzu. Suzu, hush! It was nothing, Mrs. Phillips. I see. Well, Miss Anderson, please accept my condolences for your loss. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Phillips. Your grandfather was a good man. He really upheld the philanthropy of his company's policies, and the money that went towards charity, too. Huh. Well, I know that you'll be as great as your grandfather. Aww. Hell yeah, she will! She'll be ten times better than her grandfather. I don't know about that, Suzu. Blue car, father, oh my right, so you guess Wants to come with you? No, it's okay. Oh, great. Hey, honey. Are you going to apologize? About what happened yesterday. I'm sorry for yelling at you. Does your cheek still hurt? Oh, you're going to be nice now? I mean it. I shouldn't have laid a finger on you. Well, at least you, you admit it. You know that you're my most precious daughter. You're all that I have. Oh, well, that's nice. I... Blah, blah, blah. How was school? Trying? That's not really doing the best you can, is it? Hey, you were doing good for a while. Don't, don't fuck up your niceness. Anyway, your belongings are in the trunk. There isn't a lot, so I'm sure you can manage bringing them inside the house. 
After all, you are on the road to being independent now. So they just straight up are just like, oh, okay, your shit's in the back, unpack it yourself, totals, get the fuck out of my house. I'm leaving it alone, I ain't. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, <laughs> the changed scenery freaked me out. Blah. Here we are. And tell mom I love her. Right. Thanks for nothing. Love you, Dad. No, make sure to come by and visit us more often. No, I'm going to miss you lots. Nothing other than a blank stare. But he didn't speak again. Wow, he didn't even tell me he loves me. Okay. Okay. Wow, that's a nice ass house. Okay. <clears throat> that's when I saw them. Lying on the floor was a group of men. They were all unconscious, but there was no explanation. Some of them had open wounds, the blood was staining the floor. What the fuck is going on here? Eep, get away from me! Woman, you're going to let me kiss you. What the fuck? I just walked into this house, and I saw bloody bodies, and now you want me to kiss you? Go fuck yourself. Good. Uh, go ahead? No, I would be like, who the fuck are you? Mm. What the fuck is happening right now? Sam, stop it. Mm? I said stop. Mm. Fine. <laughs> what the fuck is happening in this game? <laughs> Please forgive my brother. He's a bit reckless. To say the least. At least I feel a hell of a lot better than you right now. Because you used your abilities on her. Oh, this explains it. <laughs> Sam, you're such a reckless brute. Taking advantage of a beautiful young woman like her. Shut that pretty boy mouth of yours before I rip it off your pretty boy face. You brothers got some issues. <sighs> Jeez, you guys, can we not fight right now? You're definitely not All going for that guy. Best state. I guess you are right, Matthew. I agree. Why the fuck mm. are y'all in my house? What? What? Huh? I exploded. What is going on? Why the hell are you in my house? Why are you guys all wounded? Why did you kiss me? Who are you? <laughs> Wait a second, the guy kissed me. Ouch! What's your problem? That, what's your problem? You can't just go around forcing people to kiss you like that? Are you some kind of pervert? Pervert? It was only a kiss! I mean, that might mean, not mean anything to you, but it means a lot what? to me. Was it? Ow! I know first kisses aren't exactly amazing and full of sparkles and something out of a fairy tale, but I at least expect it to be more than something forced. So it was your first kiss. Are you asking to get punched again? Well, what do you want me to do? It's not like I can somehow take it back. That's true. You should at least apologize. Why do I always look like the bad guy? <sighs> Apologies aren't my forte. I'm waiting. But, okay, fine. I'm sorry. Thank you, that was not that hard. Sorry, Sorry about what? I went too far. Good boy. I didn't mean for it to turn out that way. It's just... I act on impulse, okay? It's difficult to control myself and... Yeah. <sighs> what am I saying? You're full of shit. 
Yeah, no problem. I know Taekwondo. <laughs> so, what are you all exactly doing in my house? <sighs> Miss, please forgive us in our intrusion. We didn't know this abode belonged to anyone, nor did we have the time to take that into consideration. What do you mean? You don't just barge into people's homes. We wouldn't have had to if we weren't as wounded as we are currently. We just... Luckily for us, your home was near and the windows were unlocked. Well, lovely flustered lady, it's hard to explain, truly. We're not exactly normal. I'm getting that. Not normal? What are you guys, demons or something? <sighs> <laughs> well, yeah, actually, something like that. What? <sighs> We're incubi, miss. Demons who consume and use sexual energy of humans to survive. Okay. Haunt humans to make them sex crazed monsters, mythical beings that can look at anyone just to get into your pants. <laughs> the immature imaginary monsters you only saw in movies or on TV. Hello? Did you? We're telling the truth. Do you think she's still processing it? Yes. And she'll understand right about. R right. It was funny while it lasted. It was time to cut this joke short. Incubuses don't exist. There's no way they existed. That would be practically impossible. Ahem. Incubi is the correct plural form. And yes, we do exist. Prove it. As soon as the words left my mouth, I instantly regretted them. Very well. Eric, go ahead. Which one's Eric? Oh! <laughs> Very well. Oh, God. My sweet, you're so tempting with such non-belief. Let me ease your mind with a tender kiss. I promise, you'll enjoy every minute of it. And maybe, you'll even want more. What? No. You couldn't help but nod and agree to his offer. <laughs> okay. Mm. God, the groans and the kissing is so fucked up. Since we... Oh my god. I feel my body drain of energy as he kissed me. Alright, that's enough. Aw, very well. I think I'm going to... Ah, where are our manners? I'm James, and these are my brothers. Sam, Eric, Matthew, and Damien. Okay. Miss, are you okay? You just told me you were a bunch of demons. I don't think I'm okay. Shit, she fainted. <laughs> Alrighty, well, I'm going to save this game here and end it for now. Um, if y'all want to see more of this, that's cool. It's very wordy, but now we've actually kind of gotten into what's going on. It's not normally my kind of game, but if y'all like it, just let me know and I'll hit it up again. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, hope you liked the video, and I will see you guys next time.